Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you guys how to set up Tor on Firefox. It's pretty easy, and here's an example of whatismyip.com showing that I am actually in Germany. So just as an example, and how you're going to do this is first you're going to need to install Tor. So what you'll do is you'll open a terminal, and once you have a terminal open, Make sure you have a root shell or use sudo and type apt install and tour. And today we're running on Mobian. As you can see, it's already installed for me. But for you, if you haven't installed Tor, when you do apt install Tor, type Y when asked to install, and it'll install that for you. And once you have Tor installed this way with apt install Tor, it starts to run on its own. And then all you have to do is set it up as a Sox proxy in Firefox. So open up your Firefox, and then you're going to go down to Preferences down here. And once you've done that, you're going to go to the bottom of Preferences. At the very bottom of Preferences, you got Network Settings. And what you're going to do then is click on Settings. And then you're going to go down to Manual Proxy Configuration. You're going to go down to Sox Host. You're going to select Sox 5, as I have here. You're going to use the host, local host, or 127.0.0.1. Then what you're going to do is you may need to use the tab key to switch over to the next box. And when you select landscape mode, you'll have the tab key on your keyboard. And after you've typed in 127.0.0.1 as your SOX host, selected SOX version 5, then you're going to go and see that tiny little tab key. You're going to tap that once, and what that's going to do is put you in the port section. And then you're going to type in 9050 as the port. And once you've done that, go down further, and you're going to want to make sure you select Proxy DNS when using SOX version 5. This is going to allow you to view Onion pages, like DuckDuckGo's Onion page. And when you're all finished with that, open up your keyboard and just hit the blue enter key and once you do that it saved everything in your preferences now we're going to test it out we have the SOX 5 tour proxies all set up we're going to go ahead and see if we can load a web page using tour now all our firefox connections are going to go through the SOX 5 tour proxy which uses localhost port 9050 and as you can see, the page loaded successfully. We are now using Tor to load everything on Firefox. And we can even test it out on an Onion address. We will go over here, and we have a test search on DuckDuckGo's Onion address. And as you can tell, everything has worked the way it should. So that is how... You set up Tor on your Pine phone or any other Linux operating system that doesn't have the Tor browser. Basically, here in this case, we're using Mobian. Mobian has had a lot of really cool changes with Fosh, which I really like. I am now using the Signal Messenger encrypted messaging clone. You're able to send files, which I've tested out. You can send pictures, you can send simple text messages, and of course, as I've introduced this in the past, this is gpotter, great client, and the reason I'm opening a couple things is because I want to show you the new Fosh thing, where it's not just using an X, as it used to be where you would tap an X to exit out of things. Now, you can swipe it up and use gestures. So as you can see, I was able to close it that way. And it's a little, a little more fun to use. So as you can see, instead of using an X, you now just throw it out and it closes out everything for you. 
of course I have some open tabs so that'll be that so that's how you set up Tor and this is the latest in Mobian which is Debian Mobile really cool operating system this is my current operating system of choice for the Pine phone it just keeps improving and I am excited to watch the progress so that's how you do it rather that's how you set up Tor to work through Firefox or another browser you can also do this in any other browser that allows you to use a Sox 5 proxy all you have to do is set once again 127.0.0.1 port 9050 and at that point you then have everything torified through that browser keep in mind that some of the other privacy concerns with browsers have to do with different trackers that are unique that do not actually become hidden through using Tor alone. You have to be, that is one reason for the invention of Tor browser itself is because it also clears all of those trackers each time you open Tor browser, giving you a unique connection for each website. You may want to use multiple different profiles for your browsers in order to isolate each different part of your unique identity. So that's what I got today, guys. Hope you liked the video. Please like, share, and subscribe, and I'll be back later with more on the Pine Phone.